the face I saw the window out of when I was playing volleyball. And I walked in at the same time I was putting laundry away. And I walked in and there was like some funky energy. It just felt different here. I'm like, what is going on? And something drew me to this room because I was putting clothes away. I don't put clothes away. There's no dressers in here. So I came in here and I heard her hitting the volleyball against the house. And I was thinking of it. I was going to draw back the curtain and like, you know, just look at her in the driveway. And I didn't. And she said she's seen a, a thing there, a face. Okay. What I want to do is I want to get very quiet. Do we have recorders on? No. You want to hold this while I put my... And what I want everybody to do is just to concentrate, close your eyes, and concentrate on what spirits there might be in the room. And I want you to visualize the spirit that's in the room and what he or she looks like, what it looks like. And we're going to be quiet for a couple minutes and see if we can pick anything up and see if we're all picking up the same thing. In your mind's eye, look at the spirit or spirits that are with us in the room. Pay attention to how they are dressed, what kind of hair they have, If they're wearing shoes, and if so, what they look like. Can anyone see anything in their mind's eye? Anyone else? Uh, a woman, early 1900s attire, big hat, pearls. Anyone else? When you said, what shoes are they wearing? And I got the sense that it was telling me, you have to have feet if you're going to have shoes. So whoever was talking to me doesn't have feet. Okay. Okay. I see a older gentleman with a very long gray beard. And he's wearing farmer's attire. Anyone else? I thought you would all say you saw somebody look wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> I got, I got nothing. Mine nothing? Was green. Green? Yeah. And he didn't belong here. 
Okay. He didn't, I, I tried to say, well, where do you belong? He said, I don't really belong anywhere. I just go wherever I feel like. Cool. Okay, that's very good. Okay. Sometimes they do materialize green or like a light purple. Remember the condo? Yeah, and I mean like they say my neighbor in the house there says there is a spirit over there. They supposedly one of the house I babysit. Verdika in her house I always said something. And the Kandanowski's said that before. The Hammonds that live down the street. So I mean like it's in a lot of the houses around here. And they're all different? Do they report different people? Like the one you babysat at, well, there was actually a woman who said that it, she owned yeah, the house? Yeah, I feel the one in their house is a little bit more of an angry, kind of snappier woman in their house. Mm -hmm. While in this house, it's not like that. No. You, you see Brenda, and you see Perry. Have you seen Perry? Uh-huh. I've yeah. seen the once twice. Okay. And you see Brenda a lot. And do you ever see anyone that looks like somebody that Jason described? Like the older attire? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not that I recall. Maybe he's picking up on the ones in the people I babysit's house. I haven't, like, visualized what they look like, though. Okay. And then at the Nanowski's house, they just heard the footsteps. Like somebody woke her up in the night, still going to kids. Mm -hmm. So this whole neighborhood is yeah. active, yeah. and there's got to be a reason for that. I mean, well, this is a creek that runs by here, isn't there? There's a creek that runs by, which is which is conducive. Any kind of water is conducive to paranormal activity, but that alone wouldn't do it. Yeah. So it has to be um, something else, like there. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that that would make a difference because I think it's dark enough here where you would see it if it was if they were okay. shooting. We could try it with the lights off. Yeah, we could. Uh, are you going to be all right if we shut all the lights off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want to give you nightmares, honey. Yeah, just my phone is seeing it. That's cool. Yeah, you, you're <laughs> talking about the camera. How much you can see in it. Yeah, you can. This is this is a uh, low light video camera, and we did some video recording of the down in the family room where we just were, and uh, we we had several orbs shooting up from the basement. So the basement is another hot spot, and this is a hot spot too. I think we should try to communicate with someone up here. Um, do an EVP. Yeah, let's do EVP. Since we can't see the rods across. <laughs> um, okay, so let's let's see if we can get any EVPs. Darling, you want to head that one up? Is there anybody here that would like to speak with us? What is your name? Is there a message that you would like to give us? Can you make a noise in the house so that we know that you're here? Darn, no. <laughs> Stubborn. Give it time. Perry, are you in here with us? Is there a spirit who was once dressed in 
1890s outfit here with us. Jason, you get the name of that lady? A, E, or M? I have E. You have E too? Mm -hmm. okay. Emma? I don't know. Emily? E. Something with E. I got Emma. Emily. Well, that's, that's E, M, and A. Oh. Oh, yeah, Emma. Uh, yeah. That's true. I keep getting E. Like Eleanor? Does she have a white blouse on? No, it's uh, like a uh, dark blue or black dress. Oh, okay. okay right. So it might be someone who was in mourning? Did she look like it was a mourning dress? I want to say pearls or maybe it's a rosary that she's holding. Ah, okay. It looked more like pearls. That she was holding in her hand? Correct. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, a yeah, mini exactly. pearl. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like a 1890s costume, something that that would have been around in the 1890s. But I see like a white collar or, or like a white blouse thing. Kind of like in the fairy realm, where they're just... There okay. It wasn't, wasn't a totally formed body that he was traveling around in. Well, you know what I find interesting about that, too, is that a lot of times spirits will manifest, and they won't manifest their entire body, because mm -hmm. they can't. They don't have enough energy to do it. So, a lot of times you'll see half of a yeah. torso, and and so it could be that... Um, he didn't have feet? Yeah, he just didn't have, maybe he had feet at one time, but um, he just didn't have the energy to totally manifest. Mm -hmm. Hey Matt, do you feel something behind you right now? No. Because when, the light, when your light was off, I thought I saw a white shadow go back when your mm -hmm. light was off. But I don't know if Darlene told you, Dan and girls, but both um, Matt well, all three of them, Darlene and Leanne, are very sensitive. And uh, so they have all seen things. And they all see them on a regular basis. Matt doesn't talk about it as much. <laughs> it's starting to come around, though. And that happened after they were in a very active place before they moved here. And that kind of opened all of their... However, Leanne has been seeing spirits since she was a little child. So Leanne had two imaginary friends, and here we find out they were spirits. They were actually like spirits. They were no. here? No. When she was little. Yeah, she's like three, four of them. And a lot of times when children um, say they have, are talking to imaginary friends, nine times out of ten they're actually talking to spirits. Where was the house going? Um, off of Bennett Road. Yeah. Nottingham Parkway. <laughs> Not in Nottingham, is that over by Dallas Yeah, it was there for 11 years. Okay, does anybody feel anything else? Do you feel anything else, Leanne? There was something that was up in my face for a little bit, but it went away. Okay, so, um... Yeah, you want to turn the lights back on and we'll... Uh oh, oh no, it hurt her eyes. Oh, no, <laughs> 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 Yeah. I 
So Dave, take your time coming home. <laughs> Where is he? Let's take a. Oh, he bowls on Friday night. Let's take a few more pictures up here to see if we can catch any orbs and.